Armenian Azerbaijani meeting in Brussels and a big rally in Armenia. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Armenian News Network. You have probably heard some news about Armenia, but you do not know exactly what is true and what is not. So, watch this video to be properly informed. Today, we're going to talk about the Prime Minister of Armenia and the President of Azerbaijan meetings in Brussels. How many lives are unknown after the 44-day war? Rally in Armenia before the Brussels meeting. And alarms about the bombs in different parts of Yerevan. These days, any Armenian is worried about the meeting between the Prime Minister of Armenia and the President of Azerbaijan which took place in Brussels a few days ago. And so it was a trilateral meeting, which is also attended by the president of the European Council, Charles Mitchell. It lasted about three hours. The three agreements reached between Armenia and Azerbaijan on a number of issues were discussed. In a statement issued at the meeting, Charles Mitchell said that Aliyev and Pashinyan had expressed readiness to move towards a peace agreement. In this context, an agreement was reached to instruct the foreign ministers to start preparing a peace treaty. During the meeting, an agreement was reached to set up a bilateral commission on the demarcation of the Armenian-Azerbaijani border by the end of April, whose mandate will demarcate the Armenian-Azerbaijani border, ensuring a stable security situation along the entire length. The issue of restoration of communication structures between Armenia and Azerbaijan was also discussed. Charles Mitchell stressed the need for a comprehensive, speedy settlement of all urgent humanitarian issues, including the release of all detainees and a comprehensive response to the issue of missing persons, noting that the European Union stands ready to support these efforts. The opinion of the people about the meeting is basically the same. They think that many important issues are left without discussion. The most important of these issues is the status of Artsakh. According to the Turkish CNN Turk statement issued by the Turkish Foreign Ministry, it says that the Turkish side welcomes the announcements of a peace agreement between Armenia and Azerbaijan and the establishment of a demarcation commission. The statement said that the Turkey supports the effort for peace and stability in the region. On April 4th, the RA Prime Minister mentioned at the government sitting how many people were missing during the 44-day war. He mentioned that we have 208 people whose fate is unknown and we have a total of 985 unknown people from the two Artsakh wars. The Prime Minister also mentioned that the discussions were also held at the Brussels meeting to find out where they were found. The Armenia and I Have Honor factions of the National Assembly convened a rally on April 3rd at 6.30 p.m. in Freedom Square. That rally was for the protection of Armenia and Artsakh. During the action organized in the French Square for an hour, all the adjacent streets were closed and the Artsakh flag was put in the square. Former RA President Serge Sargassian also took part in the meeting. The second president of Armenia, Robert Kacharian, who was not able to be physically present at the rally due to injury, expressed his satisfaction during telephone conversations with his teammates. Famous people also took part in the rally. Of course, this rally was addressed to the government, the Civil Contract Party. The member of this party, Arsen Tarosian, mentions in his speech that he did not notice anything new during the rally. At the same time, hundreds of Los Angeles Armenians gathered in front of the Armenian consulate in Glendale in defense of Artsakh. The participants know that they joined the efforts of the Armenian people to prevent the eviction of Armenians from Artsakh and are against any scenario in which Artsakh can be recognized as part of Azerbaijan. Three alarms per hour, about three bombs in three shopping malls. There were alarms that were explosive devices in the Mega Mall, Russia Mall, and Metronome shopping centers. The service providers reported on the spot that according to preliminary data, the alarm was received from a Russian phone number. After evacuating a large number of people, it turned out that there was no bomb. All this has caused anxiety amongst the people. Hopefully, we'll find out soon who organized these calls. 
If you like what you're watching, don't forget to hit like and subscribe to the Armenian News Network. Thanks. Goodbye.